Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect voice flow to your WhatsApp. First things first, you're going to need to create a Facebook account. So right here I already signed in into my Facebook account and the account that I'm talking about is the Facebook business account. You will need to create a new business account and then you're going to want to create your business channel. Once you've done creating that account, you will find a dashboard that looks like this. Next, you're going to want to go to Meta Developer or Facebook Developer. So it's developer.facebook.com. You're going to want to go into that page right there. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. So this is the first thing that you're going to see once you click on the get started button. You're going to want to create a meta for developers account. So you're going to want to register your business account here and then you're going to want to verify your account. So go ahead and enter your mobile number. Next, you're going to want to review your email address and make sure that it is the primary email that you're going to use for your business. Next, you're going to want to choose from all of the selections on which one describes you the best. So either you're a developer or you're an analyst or you're a student or marketer or others, you can choose the one that describes you the most. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click on complete registration. Once we're done with the registration, we're going to continue and create our apps. So here you're going to want to go ahead and click on create apps. And now we're going to continue and create an apps. First things first, you're going to want to choose on the business portfolio that we'll want to use, which is the one that I've mentioned about earlier. And now for this one, for the use cases, we have the options to choose the authenticate and request data from user with Facebook login and then launch a game on Facebook as well as access the threats API. But we're going to use other for this one. So go ahead and click on others and then click on next. Now we're going to select an app type. So we got the options to choose consumer, instant games, workplace, but the one that we're choosing is going to be business. So you can go ahead and click on business, then continue and click on next. And here we're just going to go ahead and add the app name. This is just going to make it easier for you to track your apps later on. Since this is an app for voice flow, I'm just going to go ahead and add the voice flow name as the app's name. And then I'm also going to choose the business portfolio, then go ahead and click on create apps. Here I ended up choosing a different business portfolio on my Facebook account because there is something wrong with the other one. So I just decided to create a new one and use this one for my voice flow instead. Once you're done connecting your business portfolio as well as creating your account, you will see a dashboard that looks like this. So here you can then connect more apps into your business account. So we're going to go ahead and choose the WhatsApp apps as you can see. So you can go ahead and click on setup. And once you got into this page right here, you're going to want to go back into your developer Facebook dashboard. So you can go ahead and click on the meta symbols right there. And then click on my apps. And then you're going to find this apps right here, which is the one that you just created. And I just named it VF test for voice flow test. And then you want to click on your business account. And it's going to bring you into this business account settings right here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the system user and then go ahead and click on add. You're going to want to create an admin for your system user. So you can go ahead and name your system user however you want it to be. I'm just going to name it as admin1. Once you got your system user admin created, you want to want to go to the app section. So on the left side of the screen, under the account sections, you will find this apps option. So you're going to want to assign the admin that we've just created into the apps that we have created earlier on the Facebook developer. So here I'm choosing the admin and making sure that the admin can do everything for that app. So after I choose 
all of the things that the admin can do, I can then click on save. And now we can go back to our system user and once again assign the permission for the admin so here i'm just going to go ahead and choose everything since i'm going to use the admin permission for everything so you can go ahead and do that and once you're done you're going to want to go ahead and click generate token all right so now that we got our token you're going to want to copy this token and place it somewhere else once you're done with that, you can go ahead and go back to the Meta Developer and then click on the apps. Once you got into this page, you want to scroll all the way down until you found this My Product sections. And as you can see, I already got my WhatsApp added or my WhatsApp set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Settings. And now we're going to scroll down until you find this configurations area and you're going to want to click on the web hook. Once we got here, we're going to use the help of another website and that website is going to be the Flowbridge website. So you can go ahead and go to flowbridge.com and then start creating your account through there. Once you got your account, you're going to want to go to your client companies and start creating the client companies. So for this one, I'm going to name the client companies VF Project Test, which is the voice flow project test. You can name it however you want, and then you can go ahead and click on create. After you got the client companies created, you're going to want to go to your voice flow project on the left side of your screen you will see a voice flow project options and you're going to want to click on new voice flow project and here you're going to fill in some things and you will need some things from your voice flow so you can go ahead and sign in into your voice flow account here on the voice flow account you will find a web chat options that shows you this code snippets right here so you can see that we needed to fill in the voice flow project name and i'm just going to name it vf project test and for the project id you want to go back to the code snippets on your voice flow and you're going to copy this part right here right beside the project id so you could go ahead and copy that code right there and then paste it on the project id as for the voice flow API token right above the web chat, you will see API key option. So you're going to want to go ahead and copy the key from there and paste it to our flow bridge. After that, you can just scroll down and then click on create. Now that we got our voice flow project created, we're going to continue to the next step, which is going to the integrations part. So you're going to want to click on client integration and go ahead and click on the new integration. So next you're going to want to choose on the company for this integration and obviously for this one we're going to choose the VF project test and then you're going to go ahead and click on next. And now you're going to want to put a name for your client integration. I'm just going to make everything the same name which is the VF project test and then go ahead and click on next. Now here for the channel sections, you can see that we have several options. We go Instagram, Facebook, etc. And obviously you're going to want to choose WhatsApp because you want to connect your WhatsApp into your voice flow. And here on the integration configuration, you have the options to connect your WhatsApp just by logging into Facebook. But if you would like to try the manual method, you can just click on the manual method clicker and then go ahead and paste on the WhatsApp API that we have just created earlier on the Facebook developer page. So go ahead and paste on the code and then go ahead and click on create. Now that we got the VF project test integration created, you're going to want to go ahead and click on integration info. And this integration info is going to be the one that we're going to put into our Facebook account. So you're going to go back to the app configuration on your Facebook developer. And then you're going to want to click on edit on the webhook 
callback URL. So you can go ahead and copy the token as well as the URL and put it into this page right here. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and click on manage on the webhook fields and then you're going to click on every messages option. So if you find options with the message name on it, you're going to want to make sure that you tick all of the box. And once you click on save, now you got your voice flow to your WhatsApp connected. So you can see that you can actually send a test message so that you will know whether the voice flow that you have created has connected to your WhatsApp account. And that's basically it. That is how you can connect your voice flow to your WhatsApp account. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.